Hello, welcome to the Speak Life Update. Since last time I've spoken in Birmingham, Maidenhead, Durham, Belfast, Bedfordshire and closer to home. Uh, Birmingham, Durham and Belfast were all part of university missions where I partnered with Christian unions to reach their campuses. Each Christian union did a terrific job of putting on high quality events, of spreading the word brilliantly and I was particularly struck this year by their prayerfulness. Each Christian union undertook massive prayer efforts, often 24-7 prayer, which preceded and accompanied these weeks. And the Lord drew thousands of people to hear the gospel, with dozens making professions of faith. One guy came up to me in Durham and said that he'd come to the Christmas carols service in Durham Cathedral that I preached at in December. And uh, he said he was there on a whim, but as he heard John chapter 1 read and then explained, he was just amazed that Jesus was the Word of God, that God is like Jesus. He went home, he said, and he prayed that Jesus would make himself known, and he did. And uh, he said he's been devouring the scriptures, uh, he's uh, belonging to a church and just going there every Sunday, loving it. He says his life has been utterly transformed ever since the 12th of December 2016. So praise God. And uh, let's pray for the hundreds of other students who just in this last month have heard the gospel uh, from John's gospel, have heard that Jesus is the word of God. May many, many more people have this guy's story to realize that Jesus is Lord. Okay, Spotlight. Uh, each month we want to spotlight a different aspect of our ministry and let me introduce to you our latest publication that is Love Story, The Myth That Really Happened. Uh, it takes the conversion story of C.S. Lewis as the launching pad and it talks about how J.R.R. Tolkien told Lewis on the 19th of September 1931 that Christianity was in fact the true myth, the myth that really happened. And Lewis was converted within days as he let that truth sink in, as he explored the Gospels and he saw that, yes, on the one hand, Jesus is this mythological hero, the hero of heroes who you know, came and fought the monster of death and hell and, and gave his life for us and snatched victory from the jaws of defeat and turned tragedy into comedy and gave us the happily ever after. Yet yeah, Jesus is the hero of heroes. But the one story, well, the one difference with Jesus is that he is the hero who actually actually anchored himself to time and space. This is the myth that really happened. It changed Lewis's life and it will change your world too when you grasp this reality. And so that's uh, that's where the book begins. Uh, ten of those have done a great job with the cover, don't you think? And, and they've done a great job with just getting it out there. I think giveaway books like this are precious resources to get into the hands of non-Christians. Um, here is a book that somebody actually might read. It will take them less than an hour. And can you give this to somebody? This this Easter they can read about how love stoops in foot washing, how love suffers in Gethsemane, how love sacrifices on the cross and how love stands again in resurrection. That's the pattern of the book Love Story and it shows you how Jesus is the hero of heroes and Easter is the myth that really happened. Get the book for yourself, buy a bunch for your friends, get a box for your church and let's get giving away this Easter. Okay, let's look forwards. Uh, we are in the process of getting our Easter video together. It'll be a, a campaign that will involve love story uh, and the video will be kind of about this theme of the myth that really happened and we're gonna uh, give away uh, loads of these books at the end of the video as part of this campaign. So please do pray for this video as it's being put together. Alex Webb Peplo is doing some brilliant work on the illustrations. It's gonna look fantastic but let's get it together, let's get it out there and let's pray that thousands begin to see the wonder of Jesus through it. Uh, please also pray as we move ahead into a time of church-based missions. I'm just off to St. Uh, St. Stephen's Selly Wick in Birmingham for a four-day mission. I'll be doing something similar in Ridgeway Church in St. Albans and then again in Hamilton Road Baptist Church in Bangor, Northern Ireland. Uh, these churches have been planning, praying and inviting. Let's ask God to bring people along and to bring them from death to life as the gospel is proclaimed. Make sure you're on our mailing list to get these updates. Please do download the app to get all our content delivered to your phone or tablet. Subscribe to us on Facebook and Twitter. And please do consider supporting us. We don't charge a penny for our hundreds of online resources, our podcast, our app. We are supported by people like you. The generosity of individuals and mission-minded churches is what allows us to do what we do. Without that generosity, none of this is possible. With it, we can resource the church and reach the world for Christ. 
So thanks so much for watching, and until next time, let's keep speaking life to a needy world.